Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. Today, as promised, I said I was going to bring you a video on things we missed about living in our Ford Escape, our SUV. Um, we lived in that for a couple years with our two dogs, and uh, it was fantastic. It was the beginning of our whole journey of living on the road. Everything was really new and exciting, and it was, besides all that part though, like what do we really miss about, if anything, do we miss about living in an SUV compared to our pop-up truck camper now? So we lived in the SUV for almost three years. And we've been in the truck camper now for over five, six, I think. So uh, we have some experience in both of them. But there are definitely a lot of things that I miss about um, living in the SUV. One was just the uh, the ease of being able to pack up camp and leave whenever you wanted to. Because you're literally just sleeping in the back of it. So if you wanted to, you could go from the back to the front. And you could just get in the driver's seat and go. Because there's there's been a few days where we wake up and it's cold or windy or something like that. And we're just like, well, let's just get out of here. And I would just climb to the front and move some stuff out of the driver's seat. And I would drive and Heather would still be in the back sleeping or something. So that is not a possibility with the truck camper. You, obviously, you have to at least get out of the camper and get into the truck. And then you got to put the top down. So if you get a hard top, at least you can eliminate that. But So that was one big thing. Um, I really don't like being able to get to the front without going outside. Which that was... I think I was more scared at the beginning because we, we slept a, a couple times at like Walmarts and rest stops and stuff. And if people were messing with you, you wanted to be able to just get out. Where now we never do that anymore, so it's really not that big of a deal. But um, it's still just the convenience factor of being able to like, oh, let's just leave. All right, and then you just pack up and go. Where now we have more stuff because we have more room. Um, it takes at least, it depends on if you're prepared, like 10, 15 minutes to get everything collected and put away in the right spot and put the top down and and move everything in order to get going so it's not like a real quick quick ordeal like the escape where you just had like a few boxes you threw it in and you took off so that was one of the big things um second probably just the efficiency of the vehicle the ford escape we were getting i don't know 24 25 miles per gallon and uh it got us everywhere that we wanted to go um it did have lower ground clearance, so that was kind of a, a bad part about it, but we did pretty good getting it. That was when Heather had to get out and move all the rocks for us, so uh, we don't have to do that as much anymore. Um, but yeah, with the truck now, you would get definitely lower gas mileage, so we're averaging like 16, 17 miles per gallon. So that's definitely a big hit, and then with that, like oil changes and stuff are a little more expensive because it's a, this is a V8, so it's got a, it takes a lot of oil and things like that, so that makes it a little more expensive. And insurance is probably uh, just a little more expensive as well. So all those little things um, kind of add up in the end of, of making a difference with uh, between before uh, the, between an SUV and a truck. But um, I also really missed just the the turning radius of the of the SUV. It was just so like easy to get like turned around on forest roads if they were really uh, logged or really uh, grown in. So I could just turn around in a dime where this thing's really long now. So I can't just like, I live at the back the whole way out. And now I can't even use my rear view mirror because the camper's there. So I do a lot of backing up like a long ways um, with the Escape. I never really had to do that. So that was a really nice thing. And uh, the other thing, yeah, you just didn't have the room, I guess, to bring a lot of this extra stuff. So you just kind of whatever just brought what you needed just the bare essentials where now you can kind of pick up little things here and there and be like okay well, we got room to store it but we don't really need it but it's just obviously if you have room you, it might be nice to have a few more luxuries than uh, than you did in the escape but um besides that the escape yeah i don't know it was it was just it was just nice because it was just a, and it blended in really well so if you're in the city or sitting at a park or something it was just another vehicle where this obviously stands out like oh if you have the top up and you're sitting at walmart like eating something then people know that you're probably in there so you can't um you can't um be as stealthy as before which again we don't really do that as much anymore so it doesn't really make that big of a difference and it's just nice being able to have the truck camper because then you can put the dogs in there and pop it up and they can have plenty of air and they can move around as much too. So that's been uh, pretty nice. But besides that, um, I think it would be fun to be able to like go back and experience it again and like get an SUV and, and just travel like for a few months out of the year in the SUV. But then obviously we'd have to get a whole nother vehicle. So it's not really not really ever going to happen. But we, we do reminisce on the the good old days of just being able to to get down kind of narrower roads and things like that We're like oh which we could still get down with the truck it's just more of a pain if we have to get if we have to turn around or anything so but uh 
yeah, the escape the escape was good. It was a good start. It's a good way to test yourself if you're if you're willing to uh, live on the road because you can't really have much again. So you have to live as simplistic as possible because you don't have room for other things, especially if you're living with your spouse or somebody else and dogs. That you you don't have room for yourself. You don't have room to sit up. You don't have room really to lay down without being on top of somebody. So you do everything outside, and then you can slowly like work your way up from there. And that's where we got to the truck camper. Now we kind of have the best of both worlds but don't have to have an insane amount of stuff so anyways so uh if you're out there and you're living in an suv or living in a truck camper or anything and uh, you just want to know what uh what pros i guess and some cons of about living in an suv that's kind of our take on it for living in it in a few years and we do reminisce on, on a lot of how missing it and a lot of it's kind of nostalgia of just us meeting and, and traveling to all these new places and everything being new and exciting but there's also a lot of, of valuable things that like I said the the gas mileage is huge just the short turning radius all these little things where it's like if you're on the back roads SUV is, is awesome and uh, if you're not gonna be out there permanently then SUV is just simple because then again it can just be your everyday vehicle you can just drive that to work and then use that on the weekend so um, so there you have it guys um, there's my uh, things we miss about living in the SUV so stay tuned for more uh, talk about truck campers t t uh, SUV stuff anything whatever you whatever you guys want to talk about put it in the comments below and uh, we'll get to it at some point but thanks for watching guys see ya